Okay, it is noon, okay, 12.01, top of the hour, central time here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I am Krista Porter, just a reminder, here at the Nebraska Library Commission, and we are about ready to start our big talk from small libraries lightning rounds. We have five sessions, 10 minutes, ish each <laughs> um, that we'll run through here on the lunch hour. Um, we may um, uh, begin, uh, uh, allow some questions, only uh, maybe one or two for each presenter as we will be need to get through all of them in the hour time. So if you do have any questions, type them in um, to the question session as we're going through here and we'll grab them for our, our presenters. Up first is uh, Kelly Ansley and Katie Shepard um, from East Georgia State College in Swainsboro, Georgia. And um, they're going to talk about this, um, which I think is a really cool session, Prowl at the Library, <laughs> um, which, as you can see, is an awesome acronym there, an introduction to library services, getting their uh, students up to speed on using the library. So I will just hand over to you, Kelly, to take it away, take it away and tell us what you guys are doing there. Thank you. Um, when I first started here at East Georgia this past fall, um, they were doing the library instruction. Um, I think mainly how most um, colleges and universities do it where um, if there is an assignment, the students get the assignment and it's very um, short answer in terms of how the students complete that assignment. And we wanted to do something just a little bit more interactive with our students. So the East Georgia State College mascot is the Bobcat. Um, and, you know, cats prowl. So we came up with practicing research on campus with librarians and doing something a little more like um, a bingo sheet. So what you see on your screen is actually the one that we use for our um, first year students. Um, so they come into the library, they get a brief introduction to the library and its services, um, very, very brief on research. And then we give them this sheet after we give them a tour and we have had phenomenal results as far as students actually completing it and returning it back in in a timely manner. Um, they often think that some of them are fun or funny, um, like take a selfie with someone who works in the library. Um, and so far, they have really enjoyed this. Plus, instead of having an entire sheet they have to do, they get to pick and choose which ones they want to do. So just like bingo, five across, five in a row, you know, they can utilize the free square if they want to. Um, so it's completely up to them. And one thing that we did was um, we used a um, program and had, we have five different sheets. So they all have the same questions on them, but this way somebody couldn't just copy off their neighbor because the squares may be in a different place and they might not have chosen to do that one. So this has been a lot of fun for our students. We also took it one step further, and we are utilizing the same concept with our upper level classes as well. So in the upper level class, what we do is we get um, laptops if the students aren't in a computer classroom. We bring those with us, and we set the students up into groups of three to four. They get a bingo sheet that is, or prowl sheet, that is um, specific to whatever upper level course they are taking. Um, so for instance, we did this with some psychology classes. And um, we modify it so that it's a little bit more in depth. It's less of, you know, the library hours and um, things that are more basic. And then they get to complete it in groups. And so whichever group finishes first um, gets a small prize. It's usually candy or something of that nature. Um, but we have found that doing this, especially with the upper level classes, um, helps some of the students, if they don't already know other students in the class, get to know some other students. Um, it's also a good way to um, go about having a discussion. Um, it, certainly does take up a little bit of time. We found that about 10 to 15 minutes is needed in order to do this, um, but the students seem to love it. We've gotten a 94% positive feedback from students when we have assessed what we're doing so far. Um, the only negative we have found to this, of course, is technology. If we can't get laptops or if the laptops aren't behaving like they should be, then that, of course, is a downside. But we have found that this is a lot of fun for our students. And since we're such a small school, it works out really well for us. Um, 
So that pretty much is our summary. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Um, this looks like a lot of fun. Yes. Um, <laughs> I can see how it's, I, I, I do, I like the fact that they don't have to answer, know all the different things the, that really jumped out at me, the choosing which things they want to try and focus on and learn. Um, and maybe they come back later and do other ones. And find uh, out they certainly... first, their first run through was fun. Let's try and do some of the other. <laughs> well, that's the kind of beauty in this. So a lot of times um, it, with instruction, you get the students when they first start, you get them maybe in an English class and then upper level classes as well, and they tend to get a lot of the same information. And so mm -hmm. that is typically good because, you know, repetition is the mother of invention. Um, mm -hmm. However, you're right, this does allow them to pick, well, I'm, you know, good at I know how to check out a book, you know, I know, you know, where to study and so, but maybe you don't know how to borrow books from the university system or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And they, they maybe discover there's things here they want to figure out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Someone does have a question. Um, a couple different ones. What program did you use to generate this? Is there a certain, is there like a bingo, is there a program to pre-made video? Yes, if you, um, <laughs> Katie actually just stepped out of the room and she did that part of it, but if you ah. Google um, bingo sheets, mm -hmm. it comes up, it's one of the first ones listed, and it's really kind of cool, it just scrambles it, so you fill it all in, and the, um, they give you the graph with the free square. Um, yeah, I did bingo sheets, there's one called My Free Bingo Cards. Yes, and the, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of things. Yeah, things that you can use that are just yet yeah, not the kind of thing you have to pay for. No, um, let's see. No, free is good. <laughs> um, do you have any example of what you did use for the upper level classes, or was it the same? The different uh, it topics? is not the same. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I have a copy of it. Um, I do not. Let me see. Well, if you don't have some there, we did actually have a couple people also ask if you could share your template, what you do have here. Um, sure. Yeah, if you, yeah uh, we can share this one and we can share the other one too. That would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So afterwards, when the recording goes up for this one, um, along with it, we will, um, if, uh, yeah, Kelly, if you send me this one and the one for your upper level classes, I'll include that as the um, documentation to go along with this session. I sure will do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions for Kelly and Katie, who unfortunately walked away <laughs> while you were presenting? <laughs> well, no, it's okay. It's actually my fault because of the time difference. I forgot she ah, had to go to okay. class. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. Any last minute questions? All right. Um, thank you very much, Clay. That looks like a lot of fun. I, that'd be something. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I did when I was in, in, in undergraduate. We didn't have many classes like that did these kind of things. So <laughs> hopefully the students are enjoying things a lot more now. Yes, they, they seem to be here anyway. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, okay. Kelly.